Hey, what's up everyone? Fear here with another video. Today is going to be Shelly gameplay and commentary. And I like to run coffee on Shelly. It's optional. She's very tanky, early game, uh, late end, end game. And for that reason, it's not required, but I love looting up really quickly on Shelly, getting as many gold weapons as I can, and even pushing the legendary guard as I am a very high level. Uh, so that said, again, it's optional on Shelly, but personal preference as I like to play super aggressively. Glad the Larry didn't pull that uh, that gold bow that's gonna cost him. And we're gonna likely kill him here. I was trying to dodge that, that stun. If anything did come out from that Duke, he might stun uh, as I approach here. Another Finn, and we should uh, kill that Duke there. Okay, so um, I run Nitro Shotgun, Nitro Bow, Coffee, and um, vampire Teeth. I don't run Adrenaline Shot on Shelly because it, she's so tanky and her her active ability gives you f um, up to four seconds of invincibility. Personally, I like just tapping it and then coming out of it once I've blocked the shot or the, the bomb or whatever I'm trying to block, but that's just me. Some people, like right there, I'm in my shell, come out, um, and we've blocked the bomb. The Molotov damage is irrelevant. Uh, it doesn't do that much, so we don't have to dodge that. Block it and come out. Um, it's optional. Some people like to sit in the shell longer. That's up to you. But I like to use it as much as I can and uh, don't have to sit in it more than necessary. Grab that. There's a Larry right there. You just pick that up. Okay. We'll pick up this other health kit. I think Shelly can be uh, extremely powerful as a character, and um, if she's played right, I think she can be super aggressive too. And for that reason, she's probably one of the strongest, but if you don't know how to play her, I think she's very high skill. If you don't know how to properly use her shell or, or play her, then um, she's not gonna be as strong for you. Shelly is definitely a high skill ceiling champion, like you need quite a bit of skill I think to pull off her maximum potential, um, but that said, um, she's very strong regardless. Her passive gives her reduced damage taken from all shots and bombs and any damage in, at all. I believe it's 33%, so effectively she has a higher health pool by 33%. Um, but I'm not sure on that number. Could be more, could be less. I don't think it's as high as 50%. There's a Larry coming out of the water there. We're a bit slow on the shot. Grab him here. Um, alternative builds for Shelly can be like Adrenaline Shot. Um, you can run, uh, what else can you run? Let me think. Um, yeah, so if you're lower level Shelly, definitely Adrenaline Shot, consider that. Uh, jungle Shoes, Jungle Shoes is another strong item. You can substitute one of the Nitro items, but personally I just prefer that Nitro Bow, get a little extra range. The Nitro Shotgun definitely would be a little better than Nitro Bow. So if you only have room for one Nitro item, I, I would run the, um, the Nitro Shotgun over the Nitro Bow. And you can, you can change out the nitro bow for like adrenaline shot or jungle shoes or something like that. I'm gonna dodge the stun here with a shell, or we just dashed in front of him, so that's good too. And you gotta be careful. Uh, look to dodge another stun with the shell in a second, right there. Okay, well, it I didn't didn't go through, but that's okay. Um, I don't know what happened. I think I just didn't get it off. Wasn't able to press it. We'll dodge this one. Taking a lot of damage from Duke here. All right, we do close it out. Got a little shaky there towards the end, but we were able to close it out. All right, hopping into the second game. Um, I think I've covered most of, of everything actually in that first game. As far as mid and late game go with Shelly, I like to play her a little slower um, and I still, look for kills as much as I can. But when I say slower, I mean, you know, kind of just hang out, walk around. You're not really looking for too many fights because if you get caught up in 
a bomb Fiesta, then you're gonna have a lot of trouble. Because of Shelly's shell ability, um, it's really only extremely powerful in one-on-ones. If you run into two, three people throwing bombs at you, you're gonna get flung around, you're not gonna be able to do much. Um, you, you know, Shelly, Shelly wins a lot of fights by outlasting her opponents. And so for that reason, I think that playing her a little slower towards the mid game is very wise. And then late game, you just look at uh, look at your options, see if you can win. If you can't, then just try and place second and let someone else take care of the other enemies. You still get two trophies, even at 1500 for second place. And I definitely think Shelly is very good at surviving. Uh, she can spend extended amount of times in the fire, more so than other characters. Not sure where the legendary guard was, didn't really pay attention. Um, gonna probably look to take out this Shelly though. I mean the uh, the Larry, and he does go down. So you see I'm tapping the minimap right now, I'm looking for the position that I want to be in towards the end. Buck's gonna charge here, we'll dodge that. And we'll come out with a bow, doesn't connect. Sometimes I just tap the bow and fire it, that was Pretty bad, the shotgun shot there, shouldn't have missed that. And the other buck barricaded him there, so he should be dead to this arrow. Charge, dead, okay. Touching more on the shell, the popping in and popping out, um, it's definitely something you need to practice on. I don't think that you can just pull it off overnight, but uh, the more you practice it, the better you'll be at it. And uh, yeah, Shelly's super strong if played correctly. Well, I, when I say correctly, I mean to her maximum potential. I think that's her maximum potential. Personally, maybe staying in your shell for a little longer is better in some ways. You know, I'm not exactly sure if what I'm saying is the most optimal way to play, but this is how I play her. This is the success that I've found with her. I'm gonna bait this health kit, see if anyone tries to take it. There's that Steve lurking nearby somewhere. I'm not sure if he flew away or not, but there he is. And we do get the legendary too. Super powerful on Shelly, the legendary shotgun. Her range with it is changed from short to mid, and you can start doing some pretty crazy things with it, like dash, shotgun. One of my favorite things to do with Shelly. There's a buck there. He's gonna charge in a second, most likely. Going the other way. It's final three, take the fin out here. Miss our arrow. Preemptive barricade. The only thing that is frustrating about Shelly is you can't shell while you're spear dashing. Like I can't cancel that spear dash. So when the buck charged and I was spear dashing, I couldn't cancel it. But that's okay. Vampire teeth working wonders here, doing a lot for me. And that'll be it for the second game. All right, as usual, we'll do some shout outs, Q and A for this last one, take it a little easy and uh, finish up with commentary. Uh, Ryan Coop Zuba Pro, interesting name, says, love the snorkel comment on the pepper video. I feel that was directed at another strong pepper, lol. Uh, no, definitely not. I would never call out anyone else in my videos. I'm completely unbiased. Shout out to Hypertonio64, great video, so you're uploading twice a day now. I like that idea. Oh yeah, and sometimes I just like hiding as the high levels fight, and then I just go in and finish the last man standing. Yes, that's definitely a viable strategy. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not uploading two videos a day. Um, the Nyx and the Louie video and the Pepper and the Ollie video, those, I just happened to have them both recorded and I just ended up editing them both at the same time so as a result they were uploaded but um, still trying to get one video per day um, something like that you know one every two or three days even 
uh, after this gameplay series is done and I, after the Shelly commentary, there's just um, Steve left and uh, yeah. So we can use this barrel for those eggs and kill the Lizzie. Coffee's very strong there, you see the speed. We're able to keep up with her, able to keep up with almost anyone actually. So you see that that spear dash. We has the legendary bow. Want that? That spear dash into shotgun. Very powerful move. Shout out to Z Temple Boy. Nice video. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Vilad says, "I love." One second. Hold on. <laughs> uh, he says, "I love your vids, music, gameplay, commentary." Shout out to you, man. Thank you much. Much love. Let's see what else. What else? What else? Shout out to Victor Mateos. So much support from you. Thank you, man. Really, really appreciate it as we grow this channel. You guys are what makes this happen. Shout out to Miguel Iglesias. Hi, honestly, I think you're the best YouTuber because of how calm you are. Keep up the amazing work. Thanks, man. Much love. Shout out to Jan Janelle. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the only thing I don't like about Pepper. It's very difficult to fight in close range. Yeah, she, she's not um, a close range fighter per se, but that doesn't mean you still can't do damage. You just gotta get used to that close range fight and um, you'll be, you'll be A-OK. -okay. Shout out to Pentelis Dim Dimitsakis, fear you kill me with Cloud Surfer, two with Finn level eight. Yeah, Cloud and I duo a lot, so it's very possible that you've run into us before. Uh, shout out to Cernal, Cernal, hope I'm saying that right. Misael Espinal and Rosa Bleja, like Pepper, subscribe Duke, connect Nix, like subscribe Finn. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, thank you for the, the comment. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate the support. Okay, this is uh, this is the Ollie video. Um, kind of just walking around here. We'll kill the Larry whenever. Shout out to Best Pringle. I'm starting to use these videos on how to kill these characters. Uh, yeah, yeah. I that's what they're here for. Giving advice as best as I can. Uh, shout out to Victor Mateos again. Always on, uh, always on the videos. Giving me the love, the support. Much appreciated, man. You get two shout outs this time. Uh, this is Larry is one health kit left somewhere. There he is. Shout out to Andy Krupp. Shout out to Alan Hamed. Fear, which character do you hate the most? Um, I don't hate any character, but I don't think Ollie is very strong compared to everyone else right now. Even Louie, I think, is slightly stronger. You can't really compare Louie to Ollie, but I think Louie is still stronger in his own ways. Ollie definitely needs a buff. Shout out to Shamar Jones and Z Tubble Boy. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, um, one final shout out, Fixel. Thank you. Thank you for the support. It's so satisfying when you kill people. Also, why are you not using your shield immediately? It's a good question. Uh, if you use your shield when you have full health, your vampire teeth won't be activated until your shield is gone and your health is lower than 100%. So I like to use my shield mid-battle so that those vampire teeth don't get interrupted. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm out. Uh, I'll see you in the Steve video as soon as possible. We'll get that out some point this week. Uh, hope you guys learned something and happy hunting.